Hey tribe, Diamond Well here, aka Coach Moose. How you guys doing today? Day three, it's on the books, man. That's awesome. And now we're heading into day four. By now, you're probably noticing that you have muscles that maybe you weren't completely aware were there, but that's okay. That's what it's all about. That's what you're gonna like today's workout. It's all about stretching things out. But before I get into it, I had a great conversation today, uh, actually about an hour and a half ago, with a gentleman by the name of Peter. Peter's new to the tribe. He's just recently joined. He actually was at a fundraiser event held by uh, Wendy and Mike Bell, who have been in the whole life community for quite a while. And uh, Christy and I donated a, two prizes uh, that they auctioned off at a silent auction they had as part of that fundraiser. Long and short of it, Peter picked up a copy of the book, he, and along with that was a 30-minute call with me just to talk about life and fitness and accountability and just cool things like that. Peter's like me. We're both in the same sort of age group, and he's got a couple kids just like me and like a lot of us in the group that are parents, and uh, it was just a great conversation. But there was one thing that came from our conversation together tonight, and it was talking a bit about the buffer zone. And I know that's sort of the term that I use. Uh, some of you that have read my book have, are familiar with my terminology as it relates to this. Uh, the buffer zone. It's why we focus on fitness as an aspect. Uh, we were sharing the fact that we know people in our lives that have fallen out of health. you know, And it's really hard once you are in that state of unhealth to, to start to get it back. And what we'll notice is when we get into that state and you get so far down in that state of unhealth. When that person is injured, when that person develops a flu or a cold that just seems to keep nagging, do you ever notice that those individuals take a long time to get better? Maybe you're like me and you can remember moments in your life where you experienced that personally. And that's normal, you know? It really becomes normal at that point. And so by exercising and really putting some daily effort into our fitness levels, we improve this buffer zone. We grow it. And what you'll find is the fitter you become and the more adaptable your body becomes to certain negative stimulus, whether it be a virus, <laughs> whether it be some bugs that are creating, creating some flu in you, whether it be even an injury, our body's ability to bounce back and overcome those negative stimulus is far greater. So we might find that our downtime is a little bit less. And it's this buffer zone that we create through these daily commitments to our fitness. Anyways, I just thought that was really cool. And it was neat that it came out in our conversation as we shared some, some personal stories. And uh, maybe you guys can think about that as it relates to certain people in your own life. So. When you're thinking about motivation and reasons why you continue to press forward with investing every day into your own body, mind, and spirits, it's to grow that buffer zone. So next time we are encountering that speed bump in the road, we just coast right over it. Anyways, your workout today, if you're willing to accept it, I feel like it's Mission Impossible here, <laughs> your workout is a, is a classic, okay? It's one of my favorites because I like to use it on active recovery days as well as on days where I might just be feeling like I need a good stretch. So what you're gonna do is, again, 15 minute AMRAP. So that's 15 minutes, as many rounds as possible of the following exercises. There's two movements. The first movement is the caterpillar stretch. You're gonna do 10 of these. Take your time, feel the stretch, feel the movement. If you have not seen the Caterpillar Stretch demonstration video that I put out, please do watch that. Those of you that have the book will notice that there's a beautiful model that demonstrates <laughs> the, the Caterpillar Stretch. It's Christine. And, uh, and uh, she does a great job of that, but it's one of our favorite stretches and we call it the oh yeah stretch. And you'll know what I mean, because when you get down to the bottom of that stretch and you're in that cold breath stretch position like you see in yoga, all you feel like doing is, oh yeah, exhaling as you feel the stretch. So you're gonna do 10 of those. And as soon as you complete the 10th rep, go into a plank position. And you're gonna hold the plank for 30 seconds. Just to engage the core, make sure you're flexing the glutes, really focus on maintaining a good quality position. All right, that's it. 
and then you'll repeat that. It's not a race. It's not a matter of trying to get it as many caterpillar stretches as you can possibly do in that 15 minute allotment. That defeats the purpose. Quality, quality, quality. Okay, it will overtake quantity anytime with this particular workout. So, on that note, day four, coming down the pipe, enjoy it. And I'm going to leave you with, uh, because uh, some of you may not have, may not know yet, but Richard is in the group now. And I know Ollie knows Richard from the past, uh, past work experience. So, hey, Ollie. <laughs> hey, Richard. I'm going to share a story now. And uh, Ollie will laugh because uh, she, she knows this product very well. And for those of you that have reached out to Christy and I, or, or you've heard me on past webinars, talking about uh, water add-ins as a great way to not only improve our health, um, but also just to make it so water's a bit more interesting. I know some people struggle with getting enough water in the day. So um, some that we use with our family and kids is... Uh, as you hear Chardonnay go, she's on the trampoline right now and she's uh, yelling at me. Um, so you get these rainbows of, of colors and flavors and it's loaded with vitamins and minerals and tons of antioxidants. And uh, anyways, um, we're always struggling to get enough vitamin C in the day. And um, Richard uh, <laughs> reached out to me and he said, I got a new cool sport product that I want you to trial. And I, I hope I'm not uh, blowing the, the lid off this, Richard, so my apologies if I am. But he sent me a couple samples to try today. And I tried it before my workout, and it was awesome. But it came in <laughs> little baggies. You can't really see that there. It's actually got a little, it's a berry flavor, so it was uh, a tinge of pink there. However, I was thinking, it's a good thing I'm not traveling in the U.S. now, and this had to go across borders. Try to explain that one to the Border Patrol guys. <laughs> yeah, it's a health product. Anyways, I thought it was pretty fun. But a great product, and I'll, I'll share more on that later. Anyways, <laughs> that's it. That's all. Hey, if you guys have a product you want me to try, send it to me in a little plastic baggie. <laughs> what? You want to show them a trick? Okay, guys, I'm going to show you a quick trick. I know we're going on like almost eight minutes here. I've already gone a little bit over. But, uh... Okay, Sharon, do it up. I'm just bouncing. Oh, you're just bouncing. Oh, yeah, I thought you were going to just... Oh, if your back's bugging, you don't. They went to an energy plex the other day, which is a crazy sort of playground for kids inside with lots of cool stuff. Okay, say hi, say bye. Hi, bye. Hi, bye. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you're having a fantastic week, and I'm looking forward to reconnecting to all, with all of you shortly. And yes, as per the post, I got some cool stuff coming down the pipe, but I'm going to save that for tomorrow's video, and I'll share a little bit about the app that's coming down the pipe. Oh, yeah. Anyways, moose out.